Hey you guys, what's up? So I have some bad news to report. Um, it goes to say um, that I won't be staying in Japan. Um, I bought my plane tickets today. So I'm gonna go into some information of why I decided to just go ahead on and go. First starting off, um, um, I don't have a job, basically, <laughs> so I still wasn't able to find a job that I would be satisfied with, something that would uh, pay enough money without me having to run around all the time trying to go to different places because it's in the summertime in Kyoto, riding a bicycle is not exactly the unless you are okay with heat it's not exactly something I'm to focus on trying to do I guess so I guess that's one reason it's just we like one example me and my friend went to this interview and it took like three hours to get there because we kept getting lost and like when you come to Kyoto you'll know it's a, it's very easy to get lost there's about a million different streets and everything on this road so it took three hours to get there and then when we finally got there it was just one of those jobs where they would call you maybe call you and ask you to come to work so that wasn't no good at all so um just basically not able to find a job and then on top of that the Japanese classes keep me so busy that I'm not able to really focus on spiritual things like this month has been awful with my with my field service time it's just it's just too much um not to say the Japanese classes have helped me the intensive Japanese classes have helped me out a lot and I really appreciate those classes and everything. It's just the teachers are a bit mm, choto, but yeah, so uh, that's another reason why I'm not too keen on staying, but I am planning on coming back next March or April next year. I'm going to write a letter to the Bethel and asked them um, about coming back to serve at the English congregation here in Kyoto because there's not a whole lot of people here. So, no, this isn't the end of my adventure in Japan. I know I need to put in, I need to show y'all the other two videos that I've made. Um, but, yeah. So, I am going to make some other videos about um, my program and questions that you have about living in Japan, how the brothers and sisters are, my reasons, what I like about Japan and what I don't like about Japan, I'm gonna make videos about that, maybe when I get back home or something, so I think starting in August, once I return back home, I'm gonna start just trying to post videos all in just Japanese, so I can get the practice with speaking and everything, so I wanna get practice with that. Um, Another thing is, is that I purchased a iPod so that I can um, practice with Japanese. This is a they have a really good um, program for practicing Japanese. The I was thinking about trying to continue my Japanese study by using Japan Japanese Pot One Hundred One, and I may do a review on that. And. I, yeah, you can't see that but basically I like that the conveniency of it being on a little small this thing and I can take it with me any, anywhere that I want to like when I'm not really doing that much I can just sit and use it and study it but I am planning on trying to continue my Japanese study because when I come back next year I want to be able to talk fully in Japanese and be able to understand fully all the meetings and everything so when I get back here next year I don't know how long I want to stay but I'm ending my journey here now for now because um, I need to go home and work on saving some money um, that's another reason I had to pay I had to become a self paying student here and though I had the money without the part-time job I wouldn't be able to really sustain myself here so 
hopefully when I get back here I will have enough money and if not my Japanese will be good enough to be able to do a part-time job here or look for something stable here um also one of my friends would tell me about like getting a, a teaching certificate in just three months for English because you know just reviewing over it and how to teach it and everything because you know I'm already a native speaker of English so it really doesn't make much sense to go and take do four years in just English I mean it's just not so what she did she she did a three a three month program reviewing over all the English that she knew and how to present it and everything that sounded very realistic when I heard it to heard it from her I'm also going to do the same thing with that when I, once I return and try to build up my um, field service time once I return so I'll be good and ready when I come back next year. So I know a few people on my site on, who subscribed to me who I've been talking to who's supposed to be going to Japan next year. So I'm really glad to hear that. I hope that I'll be able to see y'all. We live close enough to be able to see each other and maybe do a little meet up. Cause I, I really am planning on coming back. I'm not, I'm not over exaggerating on that. I am planning on coming back. I'm gonna start looking for plane tickets and everything when I get back home. Cause I'm gonna buy my plane tickets and stuff way before time, so I can get the tickets cheaper and everything. But with the three months, I can stay in Japan for three months, and then during that time, I can find a job during that time. So I can also do that. But. Yes, I'm sorry if y'all are disappointed. I know, I I'm a, I was a bit disappointed, but then I was thinking about it. I'm just like, I really don't have time for spiritual things. And you know what, that's what's really important for me anyway. That's what's really important for me. And the fact that I need to have a job so I don't be eating cup noodles every day. So that's what I'm going to do. So, yes, August 6th, wait, August 5th. Sorry. August 5th is when I'll be leaving Japan and starting my life over again back at home. But we'll be planning out things and um, trying to save up some money so I don't have to work as hard. I can just focus on going out traveling around Japan, which I didn't even get to go to half the places I want to go because. I just didn't get the opportunity to do those things that I wanted to really do. So, so with my next next time I come, I will be focusing on traveling and going out of field service and just upbuilding the English congregation and also my home congregation, Sagano congregation. So that's about it for this video. Um, I know I keep saying I'm gonna post these videos. Please bear with me. I've been so busy, not been able to concentrate because I have so much Japanese homework, but it's helping. It is helping out a lot, but I can't take not having time to do other stuff just so I can make a decent grade in here. Like, I did really good on my last test. I'm so happy. Um, I made, like, the highest grade. Me and another guy got the same grade, but everyone else was lower than us, and that was, like, the first time that's ever happened, so you know what? I was happy about that grade, but that's all I've been really doing is just studying for class. And I know I need other stuff I have to do too. But if it, for y'all who are coming next year, good luck to you. I hope that y'all have some blogs so I can subscribe to them because I'm very interested to see other people's perspectives of living in Japan. Um, and like I said, hey, let me know if you're going to be in Japan. Double witnesses anyway. If you're going to be in Japan next year because I'm coming back. And if you come to Kyoto, I will see you. So, I'll talk to y'all later, try to post those videos, and try to keep y'all updated, and peace.